What's up guys, this is Shane Starnes with DroidForums.net. You know me better as DroidModder X, and today I'm going to show you guys the gummy, uh, the newest, latest gummy ROM for the Droid 4, and I uh, will show you guys how to flash this via safe strap as soon as we do our quick run through of the ROM. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this is gummy. Version 0 0.9, this is the latest version for the Droid 4. And you will notice here that it does have the Apex Launcher. I'm not sure if you can see the search bar there or not. Uh, but it does have the the effects here. Let's, You know what, I'll add a widget real quick so you guys can see. We'll go with this widget. Okay, so this is... Oh... The effect that I'm talking about. So this is the effect that you get with the Apex Launcher. Uh, there's several other effects. In fact, if we go to Menu, we can go to Apex Settings, and you can change your home screen settings. Uh, let's see. I think it's the transition effect. So you can go with Tablet, which should be like a cube but inward, and then Card Stack. And you can also change the number of screens, your default screen number, uh, the grid size. You can change. All kinds of stuff here, and then there's also several other settings, your dock settings, folder settings, and so forth and so on. Apex is really an awesome launcher for ice cream sandwich ROMs. Very slick, very smooth, uh, as you can see. So we'll move on to the settings. So there's lots of customization mods here that are uh, gummy customization mods. So we're going to gummy settings. And we're going to general UI settings. You can do the enable 180 degree rotation. So when you turn your phone upside down, it'll turn right along with you. That's pretty cool. Another thing you can do here is the status bar brightness slider. Um, and then we'll move on to system UI tweaks. Here you can create your own custom carrier, which is I've got mine as Droid Modder X. So when I drop down my menu uh, or if I go to the lock screen, you should see Droid Modder X. It's not there, so I guess it requires a reboot. So I haven't rebooted my phone, so that probably requires a reboot. You can go to Clock Style and select the center clock, which is really neat. And Clock Color, you can change the clock color as well. So if we go to green and set that, it changes my clock color to green. You can do that on the fly. Battery types, uh, I prefer to hide the battery and go with the percentage, but... Uh, the gummy fat battery that is actually a pretty cool battery as well that is a gummy uh, a gummy rom original so we'll go back to battery types and I'll hide that uh, you can change the battery text color and you can also do the battery bar this is kinda like my UI bar so you see it up there in the top that's the battery bar uh, you can change your status bar color which is really neat so now my whole status bar has changed that's a pretty cool effect uh, I'll change it back to black. And let's see here. The next thing you can do is change soft key settings. They're really not needed on the Droid 4 uh, as we already have these soft keys. But if you wanted those, you could enable them and have all the same effects of Ice Cream Sandwich like on uh, the Galaxy Nexus. Lock screen settings. There's plenty of styles to choose from. You've got the slider lock, rotary lock, rotary revamp lock screen, honeycomb lock screen, and the ring lock screen. So I'll change that just so you guys can see it. This is the ring lock screen, which is pretty cool. Um, you can enable volume, rocker wake, and camera sound picker. Then there's the LED settings, so you can change the color of the LED so that when you get a notification, the LED will light up a different color. And that's about it for the settings. Other than performance, I forgot to show you performance. This is where you can change the clock speed. So you can set a scaling governor or set your uh, CPU speed as well. And then, of course, you do have a reboot menu. If you press and hold the power button, you've got your reboot and your screenshot menu there. And there should be toggles in the pull down as well. See, so there's all your toggles, including the 4G LTE toggle. So that is Gummy. Tons of customization. Nice, awesome, fast ROM for the Droid 4. This is run on the safe strap. So what we'll do now is boot into uh, we'll boot into safe strap. So I'll just hit reboot the phone and we'll just reboot it as normal. We'll go ahead and install this. 
So you need to have safe strap installed and you need to boot into safe strap. Go ahead and download the Gummy ROM and the G apps to your SD card and have those there. Have them ready. And you hit the menu button to bring up the safe strap. So give that just a second to load. Okay, and we'll get it a little closer so that you can see what's going on here. <clears throat> so first you want to wipe data. So you just select that with a power button and hit yes, delete all user data. Uh, make sure that it does say that you are in, uh, that your safe system is enabled. So you know what, I guess we'll go back and I'll show you how to enable the safe system if you've never done this. So what you want to do is go to safe boot menu and toggle safe system and then that'll enable the safe system. This will be your secondary system where you're running your ROM. So after you wipe data, you'll wipe cache. Go down to yes, wipe cache. I'm going to go back. Then you'll go to advanced and you'll wipe Davit cache. And I'm going to go back. Then you'll just uh, go back once more and you'll install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, internal SD card, it should be in your download folder. You're looking for the gummy Maserati release 0.9.0 zip, select that, go to yes install, and then hit install, that should take a minute, and then you'll go back to choose zip from SD card, internal SD card, you'll go down to download, And you'll install the, the G apps. Once that's all finished, then you'll just reboot the phone. And you should be good to go on your new safe strap ROM. So I'll back out here and you guys can see the new boot animation for Gummy. So anyways, guys, that is the Gummy ROM for the Droid 4. Simple to install. Very quick, very customizable ROM. Uh, for the Droid 4, even better than stock if you ask me, much better than stock, and it's on Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0.3. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the forums.